Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I use Google Sheets to track the books that I read. So if we look at this spreadsheet, we have the total books finished, the total pages read, the genre breakdown, and the amount of books read per month, and the amount of books read in the year. We also have some filters on the top if we ever want to sort our data. But right now, let's get into the table below. So on the table below, we have the book name, the author, you can put in who the book was recommended by, when did you start reading it? And when did you finish reading it? What current page you're on and how many total pages there are. So this updates automatically. So if you put 300, it'll show that you're 86% done. Then if it's at zero, it'll show that you're 0% done. So then once it is at 100%, the bar will turn green. Then we also have our status here. So if we're still reading the book, like for example, down here, I'm still reading this book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. So I still have reading selected here. And if you haven't started a book, I would put not started. And for books that I really want to read or I know like this is next on my list, I have a must read tag for it. Then after that, we have the rating. We can rate it one star all the way to five stars. And then the next column, we have the genre. So the genre, let's say if you read different types of books and your genre is not listed in here, what you can do is go down to the genre list tab down here, click it. You can add in whatever you like, for example, nonfiction or fiction books. Then when you go back to your dashboard and you click down this genre drop down, at the very bottom, you'll see nonfiction and fiction. And if you want to give them color, you can simply click this edit button, click that. You can come down to the bottom and give it some new colors and then press done and apply to all. So now when we click this at the bottom, now we have our nonfiction and fiction colored. Then in our last column, we have who should read this book. So after the reading the book, if you want to keep track of what the book is about and like who you should recommend it to, you have an option for that here. So then some side notes for the status. I also have a DNF did not finish. So these are for books that you did not finish reading. So since I did not finish reading this book, I don't have an end date and I put it on DNF. But I did write down what the book was about. And also I did fill out this part. But that's totally up to you. So let's say, for example, I'm done reading a book and I want to update it in the table. I can simply come to here and double click this and now select the end date to today and put the page at 175 and then update this as finish, rate it how many stars I want, what genre it is. So this was deep work. So this is about productivity. So over here, you can write something like people who want to optimize their time and work productively. So now let's come back up to the filters here. Let's say if you ever want to sort by, for example, books that you haven't started reading or books that you must read, uncheck everything except for must read, click OK. And now all the books that you are planning to read will show up. Then let's say if we undo this. Now let's say all the books that were rated five stars. Now we can look at all these books and maybe recommend it to our friends. Let's clear this or let's undo this. Then for genre, let's say we want to see what books we read on uh, productivity this year and see, okay, these three books. Okay. So two of them I finished this one. I'm still, I'm looking to read and that's all for the filters. So all these charts up here update automatically. So let's say if we get rid of the date and undo everything that we did here. When we go back up, you can see that the chart shows that we've only read eight books where just now it was at nine books and the pages were more. So just another side note, do not edit these two columns here as they both contain a formula. So up here you can see what formula is contained. You can also double click to see what formula is in it. So let me just press escape to get out of that. This one also has a formula. So press escape to get out of that. So one last thing, let's go over the tabs that are down below. So I have the dashboard, which is this sheet right here. If we go to the genre list is where you can update, you can add in more or take out some of the genres that you don't read. And then on the third tab, we have instructions. So over here we have how to use this book tracker, what data will update certain charts and the video tutorial, which I'll add in the link here. And if you ever have any questions, you can leave it down in the comments below, or you can email it to me at championchallenger at gmail.com. Then the last tab is basically data for charts. So this tab, you do not need to use it all. And in fact, you shouldn't touch it at all because you might break the charts or you might break the data. So best to not 
edit anything here. In fact, I have protected this sheet so that if you do edit anything, it'll have a warning that shows up saying like you are trying to edit this. Are you sure you want to do it? Just press cancel and you're all good. So that is how I use my book tracker for 2023. So far, this has helped me read a lot of books. If you want to get this template, you can simply go to the description down below and click the link. All I ask is you give it a five star rating if you find it helpful and useful. And that's all. See you guys in the next one.